me straight in the eye and tell me that this was not terrorism. At just after four in the afternoon on Thursday, July 23, Iranian Mahan Air Flight 1152 was crossing into Syrian airspace. Passengers were shocked to see out their oval-shaped windows what appeared to be a fighter jet approaching the plane. Naturally, panic ensued. The pilot rapidly descended and then climbed, causing the plane to careen down 125 feet and then up 500 feet. It was a bumpy ride for a few horrifying minutes, made worse by civilian passengers shouting in fear about the warplanes just outside their windows. The warplanes were US F-15s. Americans blatantly claimed they were conducting a visual surveillance of the flight. Insolence is what best describes the American excuse. Not only they are a force of occupation in Syria and have no right to be there in the first place, but also they have the impudence to call the harassment of an Iranian commercial flight in Syrian airspace surveillance. The U.S.'s unlawful maneuver led to civilian injuries on board the plane. Three Lebanese passengers, including two children, were injured and taken to a hospital by an ambulance from Beirut International Airport, along with several crew members who also were injured. This was just another episode of American acts of terrorism. A passenger plane was moving in a normal flight corridor and U.S. fighter jets conducted an illegal maneuver that could have ended in tragedy had the Syrian air defense missiles intercepted the jets and ended up downing the Mahan Air passenger plane. This time, Mahan Air narrowly avoided a disaster because of U.S. gambling with civilian lives without even a condemnation from a Western state or the United Nations. A surprise? Not really. This is expected. However, U.S. deeds in the region will not go unanswered anymore. Google Ayn al-Assad Airbase, you'll understand. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.